Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today we are going to cover password policies and we shall do this by first creating a user account, then we're going to change the password history and age and length, then we're going to change the password minimum age, we're going to change the password complexity and we'll test each one of these steps in concession to see what they all do. Passwords are very, very useful to us. They allow us to secure our user accounts and depending on strength and things of that nature, this improves the key. So let's go into computer management. What we're going to do is click on local user groups, go into users and create a new username and we will call this Sam. As far as full name description goes, use whatever you like. The password here will be password and user must change password next login should be selected. Once we're done there, we can click into Sam, click on Members of, and note that Sam is a user. Now sign out of Sam, and we have just created the user account, so we can now go ahead and test its password policy. So we can click on Sam, and we can just log in. This is with the password of password. And what it should do once we do this, is it should actually prompt us for a new password. So what we're now going to do is we're going to replace the old password with the same password. So we're going to type in password again. And you'll notice something interesting, it's actually going to accept the password. So this is not very secure for us. This means that we can actually recycle the same password over and over again in the same user account. Which means ultimately people can actually learn the password that might not need to be on the account. And of course cause some issues. We'll obviously just finish up the setup here and then once we're done here we can just continue and we can go control alt delete and instead of sign out we'll go to change password. This time around what we're going to do is we're going to replace password with no password. In other words it's going to be blank and you'll notice once again it's going to accept the password. So this is even worse. Instead of just recycling a password now what we're doing is we're actually saying that you don't need a password at all. So to go ahead and see what that looks like, let's just sign out and sign in with that uh, user account with a password we just did not create. And you'll notice that it signs in just fine. You no longer need a credential in order to be able to get into the desktop. And of course, this is very, very bad practice, especially for administrators. With the default passwords tested, what we can do is we can just head on back into test, which is our administrative account. This is with a password of one, password123 with a capital P. And we are now going to go ahead and we are going to change some of these settings in order to be able to make our passwords just a little bit more secure. So the first thing we do is we need to go into local security policy. You can do that by in the search bar typing in secpol and it should bring that up. And then from local security policy, we're going to click on account settings then password policy. And we're going to double click on enforce password policy in order to show you just what it does. You'll notice each one of these tabs has an explanation. So make sure that you read through these thoroughly because what they'll do is they'll explain is exactly what it is that each one of these do. I'll give it a just very quick breakdown as well. But it's useful just to just pause the video and just have a good comprehensive look through each one of these little explanations because they'll give you a very detailed view of what it is that you're looking at and will help you immensely. The first three settings we're going to look at is enforced password history, we're going to look at maximum password age, and we're going to look at minimum password length. Enforced password history will let us actually remember passwords so that we can't recycle them, and we'll set the number of these to 10. So this is 10 unique passwords that you would need to have before you can start to reuse passwords. Maximum password age will specify for how long a password will actually be remembered before we will be prompted to change the password. We'll change that to 30 days. We can then look at minimum password length. And what this does, it specifies what the minimum number of characters your password will contain. So we will change this to 8, which means you always have to have at least 8 characters in the password. And with that, we have just changed our password history, age and length. So we can go ahead and we can sign out and test our password policies. We do this by logging into Sam. So this will be with the no password that we selected earlier. So blank password. And once we're inside the profile, we can then go ahead and click on change password. And we will now try to change the password from blank to blank. 
Note how the password change is not successful. This is because the password history is now being enforced, meaning that blank, in effect, is a password that it's remembering. So let's try and pay, change the password to a different password. So we'll call this password and see what happens now. And you'll notice it'll accept that. That's because password is not currently in the password history, so it will actually allow it. So let's go ahead. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and change the password again. So the password is now password. Let's go ahead and change that to password again. So for the second time around and see what happens here. And you'll now notice what will happen is when you try to accept it, it says no. So this is obviously because password is now in the password history. So it's not going to allow it. Now let's go ahead and change the password again. This time what we'll do is let's go ahead and change the password to something like blank and you'll notice it's not going to accept it. And this is because again because both passwords are in the password history. And so let's go ahead and try a shorter password. So let's use a password of pass and see what happens here. And you'll notice that it doesn't accept it again. This is because obviously our minimum password characters is eight and pass is only four so it's not going to allow it as a final part let's log in by changing the password from password to password one and you'll notice that it will accept this password because obviously it's unique again because of the one and it'll let it in so it's not perfect because you can change from password to password one password two password three etc that way it's not perfect but we'll fix that in a few moments but at this point, the testing for this password policy is now complete. So I've noticed that our password policies are a little bit more secure now. Um, it stops recycling and it stops anything under minimum size. But we could, there's room for improvement. So let's head on back into our administrative account called test and back into SecPol. This will take us back into a local security policy. And once you're back in local security policy, what we can then do is we can go back into account policies and we can go back into password policy and this time we're going to go for minimum password age. This is a very interesting one because what minimum password age does, which we will set to seven, is that it will stop you from changing your password unless it's at least seven days old. So let's sign out again and this time around let's now go ahead and test the policy that we have just created for minimum password age. So log into Sam again, this with the password of password one, which we created earlier. And once we have done this, and once the desktop is loaded, let's go ahead and let's go and change the password. And this time around, what we'll do is we'll change it to pretty much anything that's more than eight characters. In this particular instance, we'll just call it my new password. And you should notice something very interesting that it's not going to work. And that's because password one is actually younger than seven days. So what this does is it actually helps to stop password recycling because it means you literally cannot change the password for at least seven days. And so testing the password policy for minimum password age is now complete. So we can go ahead and log back into test. This is our administrative account. This is with the password of password run to three with the capital P. And once we're in here, we'll head on back into SecPol. And through then local security policy, what we're going to do is we are going to turn off minimum password age by setting this back to zero. This is obviously because we want to be able to test and change passwords and we will find it difficult to do that with this still set to seven. And with this out of the way, we can then go ahead and we can click on Password Must Meet Complexity Requirements. This is a very interesting one. We just enable it and it will enforce a six character length. You'll need to supply uppercase, lowercase numbers and at least one non-alphabetic character in your password. So with this awesome feature enabled, head on back into SAM and you're going to just log in with the password of password one. Once we're back into Sam's profile, go ahead and we will then go and change the password. Try and change the password to my new password, all lowercase. 
What you should notice is that this should not actually work uh, because it doesn't meet the complexity requirements needed, meaning that there are no capitals, there are no special characters, and there are no numeric characters. So ultimately that's not going to work. So let's go ahead and try a different password. This time we'll use password123, but instead of the A, we'll just put it in a quotation symbol. And you'll now notice that this will actually work just fine because this is a complex password and it means that we have just completed the testing of password policy. Thank you very much, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope you have an amazing day further and I look forward to seeing you all again soon.